Welcome. My name is Mark Porter, and I'm CTO of MongoDB. And with me today, I have Michael Young, who runs Accenture's software engineering business. So, Michael, it is wonderful to see you again. Thanks yes. for coming today. It's great to see you. Very good. So today, I wanted to chat with you about migration and moving to the cloud. And everyone talks about cloud migration. It's the talk of the last decade. It sure is. But as we've embarked upon it at MongoDB, we notice that it is such a complicated process. Now, you guys at Accenture, you must see the process from soup to nuts, the whole thing. Yep, Can you tell us a little sure. bit about what it's like? Well, I think it's important, Mark, to think of it as not just migration, but also modernization. Uh, you know, we did, uh, we did some research for our cloud continuum work and talk to 4,000 different businesses about the value that they're getting out of cloud. And a number of them were seeing savings, you know, in the 10% range for migrating applications. So lifting and shifting their, their current application from on-premise to the cloud and then stopping there. The real value, I think, is when we start moving up the curve into co-creating, innovating, differentiating and that's when we start doing modernization, modernization with microservices, modernization with all new products, right? With new user experiences mm -hmm. uh, for the customer. And that doesn't come from just lifting and shifting the stuff you've got. That comes from thinking about using the cloud in a new way, thinking about refactoring your applications in a new way and thinking about using microservices. And over at MongoDB, of course, you're all about, right? Building systems in these new modern engineering ways. What are you seeing when you talk to customers? So we're seeing a lot of the same stuff. And part of it is that people think that when they take their relational database, which has been built up over 25 years, that it's gonna be easy. They're gonna move it to the cloud, it's all gonna be easy. And I gotta tell you, there's nothing easy not about easy. it. No. And um, one of the other problems, which we'll talk about in a future series, is about how complicated it is culturally and how complicated it is financially. But let's leave that alone for right now. Yep. Just technically, people land in the cloud and they're kind of in the exact same place they were before. But the problem is right. they have the same operational processes, the same database with 23,000 or 50,000 tables that are all tied together in a spaghetti they can't tear apart. And same so, organization. Same organization, in fact. Same right? operations, same yeah. development teams with a wall in between them, right? Exactly, and, and this concept of, of all everything they get from the cloud, they're only getting this tiny piece of it. I'm very interested in your 10% number. That seems pretty legit. So what we're doing is we're focusing on helping people think about their data in a different way because data is the foundation of all of the spaghetti that we, that we have in our organizations. And so when we try to have them separate out their data into different islands, into different areas, and then we try to help them transform each area one after another. Now, I know from our talk, that you have this kind of uh, thematic thing you like thematic, to do yeah. that I'd love Agile. to hear a little bit more That's about. Right. So tell me a little That's bit right. more about that. So we have a, a model called uh, Magi, migrate, accelerate, and grow and innovate. So to help bring that to life, we've got a large banking client over in Europe that has a mainframe with 300,000 MIPS. And when the pandemic hit, right, the client wanted to be more flexible, needed to be able to release new products like small business loans to support them during the pandemic. And it was hard to do that on their mainframe system. So they've taken a lift and shift approach, but they're doing it very thoughtfully as a two-step sort of move, then improve. So let's get all of our stuff over into the cloud. Let's wrap some automated testing around it and DevOps underneath it to make sure we're doing no harm. And then they're in a position to start refactoring this mm -hmm. stuff once it's in the cloud. Uh, accelerate, right, is about taking the stuff you've got and doing it differently in the cloud. So during Hurricane Isaiah, uh, you know, a number of utilities were hit very, very hard. There was a lot of damage on the northeast coast of the United States. One of our clients, their storm management system was being overwhelmed by customers who were calling in, you know, hey, the, the power line's down in front of my house, when's my power going to get back, et cetera, and uh, it couldn't take the load. So we worked with them to reuse their existing legacy backends, but put new cloud native services on top of that, right? That would be perfectly elastic, of course. When a storm comes, you can, can scale up to the demand. When the storm's no longer there, you can scale right back down. That's Accelerate, so using pieces of the cloud and pieces of what you have. And then Grow and Innovate is when you're, you're going all in, you're going cloud native, you're, you're using MongoDB, and you're using other, other technologies to build brand new things uh, in the cloud very quickly that you couldn't before. So migrate, accelerate, grow and innovate. I think the key here is that getting to the cloud and having a cloud journey is about so much more than just the migration. That is not a destination. 
Well, that's awesome. Well, thank you very much for today. It's been fun. Very good. Thanks for coming in and talking. All right. Cheers.